Hey guys, it's Mallard with another stamp video. Um, and as you can tell, it is another what's in the box video. So let's get into it. Now I know I've been doing mostly just what's in the box videos um, this past week. Um, not really on purpose, it's just something that um, I'm trying to get through. Because um, as you guys can tell, I have all these stamps here, uh, but then I have all these paper um, and holders or stamps in them that I'm going to go through in another video um, and hopefully keep working our way through these stamps. Um, but yeah, I, had, I do have some other video ideas. Um, I'm just working on them currently and this is a way for me to give you guys um, something fun to to see every day um, just so you don't get bored um, and just so I'm giving y'all stuff because if I don't do this then I feel like I'm letting y'all down if I don't have a video once every two days or so so um, but enough rambling um, so we're just gonna start off Pakistan nice China or Japan looks like Shanghai overprint there uh, yeah this one's interesting Interesting overprint there. And we are doing a bigger pile, obviously. So this one might take a while, so hope you guys enjoy it. Australia. Let's see here. Looks like Cuba. Nice. Ah. Wow, we do have we got a lot to go through, guys. And I'm moving real slow right now. Come on. I think I've got one. Romania. Pretty nice old one there. Hungry. <laughs> nice Italian one. I think it's Austria. Yeah, if you guys have any video ideas you want to see me do, um, I will always respond to your comments when I see them, and I will always let you know what's going on. Um, someone wants to see how the stamps actually go into the safe albums um, and how that works. Um, so I am going to make a video specifically going over the details of um, the safe albums that I keep all of my high-value stamps in um, with my U.S. collection and also my Germany collection that I'm working on organizing currently. Um, and I will make a video on that, and I'm going to do that because one of you guys asked me um, if you could um, show a little more details of the save albums, and of course I want to do what you guys want um, to learn and want to do, so I'm going to make a video about that. So if you have any um, video ideas you'd like to see, just let me know. Let me know, and I'll, I'll do my best to make it happen. Let's see your Bahamas. This is a U.S. stamp, obviously. Pretty clean one, too. Look at that. Centered decently well, a little off on the right side, but um, good looking stamp. I'm keeping that over here. I put that in my US, US pile. Belgium. Keep moving on. We got a lot to get through. This is Italy. Focus. Haven't found, seen any yet that I want to try and find the value of currently, but we'll get there. I'm sure there's some good ones in here. Russia, Finland, let's see here. That's Russian. I'm getting better at identifying those, I'll let you know. Pretty old Bermuda one. That one might be interesting. I'll keep that one over here. If we can't find anything else, we'll, we'll do that one. There you go. Australia, kangaroo. Nice. This is a good one. All right, forgive me for pronouncing this wrong. Sicheles, Sicheles, something like that. This will be one of the ones we look for. This is a pretty sweet looking stamp. I'll put that Bermuda one back up since we got a good one. Stamp from Brazil. Nothing too special here. Nice. Stamp someone cut off of a letter. I do have a video about how to remove stamps um, off paper safely. Um, so if you want to watch that um, to learn, that'd be great. Um, of course, helps me out too. Nice. Netherland coming off a postcard, looks like. 
see let's see if this guy will focus. I'm about to start using my hand because it's so much back there. Cool little stamp. Move these up a little bit. What is this? India. Four on us. Man, we got a big pile left. <clears throat> yeah. Oops. That one fell. This is either Spain or Cuba. One of those two. Oh, nice. Cool Russian one, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, it's Russian. Yeah, guys, so um, for those of you who don't know, um, I am starting a... Um, grab bag community here on YouTube. So um, if you want a grab bag for me, all you have to do is send me a grab bag yourself with stamps um, that you think I might want. Um, in that grab bag, send me a letter, let me know what stamps you're looking for, and I will get collect a grab bag for you and send it to you. Um, I have already sent one out. I'm just going to comment about the stamp. I might keep this one. I don't know what those other prints mean, but I'll talk about it later. Um, I already sent it out to Kenny. He sent me his first grab bag. He said, hey, man, um, would love some older um, worldwide stamps. And so that's what I did. I gave him a nice selection of worldwide stamps. Um, I went over it in a video. So if you want to go see that, um, go see that. Um, I will leave the address that you can send your grab bags into me in the description below so you can do that. Um, and hopefully uh, we can just, you know, have fun with this and um, basically trade stamps around and just really enjoy um, the community that we have here on YouTube. Um, so if you're interested in that, like I said, the address with the grab bag exchange will be in the description below. And that's my plug. All right. Spain. There's been some decent stamps in here, just nothing I'm super interested in. Jamaica. Let's see. This looks like Iraq. Iraq. I think this is Mexico right here. Usually these are Mexico. Yep. Still got a lot to get through, guys. What is this? Belgium with a. Yep. That's a Belgium stamp with a German overprint. I'll keep that over here because that one's interesting. Might not be able to find it, but. Ooh. Old India stamp. Nice. I like that one. I'll probably keep that one over there too. Hopefully we don't get too many over there. Cool. Cayman Islands. War stamp. Netherlands. Ah, oh, South Africa. Union of South Af Africa. That one might be. I'll keep that one over there. I can't make that pile over there too big or we're just not going to get to all of them, you know? Let's see if I can get this corner here. I might put some of these back because this video is getting kind of long. Definitely Russia, in my opinion. Whoa. What is this one? Sorry, I saw this one. I want to grab it. What does that say? Victoria? That might be Victoria. I'll put that over there. Yeah, I'm going to put some of these back. Let's go through and see if I can find any really, really good ones. Just looking at them briefly. Yeah, we can do this, this whole other lot right here in another video. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put these to the side. Um, so we're going to do India. I think that's Victoria in this one. And I'll show these guys again at the end just so we can, um, hopefully you guys in the comments can help me out, figure out what those are worth and stuff. But um, I'm going to go to the Scott catalog. I will get the prices and be right back with you. All right, guys, and we are back. We did find all the stamps in the Scott catalog. Um, so we'll get going. Um, this stamp, I, I'm telling you guys, I don't know how to pronounce it. Secchelis, I don't know. Don't make fun of me. Um, this stamp is printed from 1890 to 1900. It's only worth a dollar and 75 cents. Um, this stamp is from Victoria. It was printed um, in 1901 and it is only worth a dollar 60 cents. Um, keeping on the same trend, this stamp 
is actually a super early stamp from India. Um, really, really nice stamp. It's from 1855 to 1864, and is only worth $1.75. Um, so this stamp is one of the first India stamps, um, one of the early ones. It just isn't worth that much money. Um, that's okay. Really, really cool one there. Um, and I just want to give see, show you guys these one more time. Um, this is a Belgium stamp. I'm sure when Germans, when the German army stormed through Belgium, um, of course, they have this German overprint over this Belgium stamp here. Um, so if you guys have any info on that, let me know. Um, this one's really interesting. This is one that I think could be really cool. Maybe have a really cool story. Maybe a holiday there or something. I don't know. Um, if you guys have any details about this one, let me know. Um, but yeah, um, another one to box the video is over. Um, thank you guys for watching.